Hi, welcome to a weekly outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday, 25th of September. Actually, just before I go on to the outlook itself, just a reminder if you haven't seen it, I'll just bring this in, a web page in here. Um, we've got a new trade, trading app uh, out, which at the moment has got Charlie's Swing Trading Community linked into it. So basically, you can follow Charlie's trades, his swing trades, that is. Um, on the system. Now these trades are being placed in his 50k to 500k challenge so if you want to keep up with it there's one way of doing so on a, on a regular basis. Now the app is very much like an interactive group on WhatsApp but it's just a pure app which uh, uh, fully F FCA regulated so we can put the trades on there. Um, you can see from the group wall here, um, as it's termed, you can see the trades that Charlie's putting on there. You can f just, if you want to, you can copy them from there. You can look at them more detail. There's people that are asking questions about them. Charlie would uh, give comments prior to the news. You can get these alerts and you can just filter it. So just Charlie's alerts, no one else's comments or whatever else, or the whole group. So that's there. Now, at the moment, it's working really well. We, we worked, ran it, uh, or Charlie ran it uh, in initially for a group of his swing traders of just a few that traded it with him so uh it's been running for a while and it's been working pretty well so if you haven't got time to sit there this is this is about as easy as it is without us actually leaning over and pressing the buttons for you um so uh if, if this is for you if you're interested i'll put the details on the bottom of this email and if it's not you looking at youtube or elsewhere i'll make sure there's a link to the um information right now markets euro dollar first and this is the second uh, attempt of doing this weekly update i did it much earlier i got tied up and i was out and come back and found that uh, well um things changed <laughs> so i thought well there's no point sending a, a dated bit of information out now of course i showed a semi weekly uh, outlook out each day which uh, updates things but i like to give a bit of a longer view in terms of what's going on here so it's that if things have already been broken or started to, to trigger um i might as well talk about them but the technicals that have changed or the, sorry fundamentals that have changed first um is the fed evans who's a, is a dove voter is broadly comfortable with interest rate it's increasing in the US. Now he's suggesting up to 2.7 by the end of 2019. Um, he, um, he, he's still looking for um, uh, clear signs that it should be higher inflation before hiking again, but at the same time, it is a bit more bullish uh, coming from, and certainly uh, uh, hawkish coming from him, uh, which is a, a sign of how things may be changing there. Likewise, at the same time, or I say at the same time, this is even this afternoon. Uh, Drag has been speaking, and he's he's just uh, been effectively reiterating probably a lot of what he said last week, but uh, he's saying it again, and people listen the second time, not the first time sometimes, and he's just suggesting that there's um, lots of um, uh, a, a, high, a substantial degree of monetary accommodation still needed for the up, upward inflation path to materialise. So uh, that would suggest things aren't going to be changing too quickly at all. And he's suggesting that, um, I mean, it's, it's very much more dovish you know, overall in terms of what he's done there. So uh, that's certainly, um, you know, but dollar more more focused upside and possibly euro more focused downside. And we, we, we've seen some of that coming through the markets this afternoon already. So as we look, and um, this from this weekly perspective, been chopping over the last four weeks. It, it did put a new high in uh, three, uh, two and a half weeks ago there, or two, just over two weeks ago there. Just coming down towards this little, sort of lower band here, it may may find some support on that. We have got, I'm just uh, trying to, there we go. We have got price just touching on the daily 50s now. Now, um, previously when it started coming off low here, it, it rallied for the next four days and off it went. Now this is much more of a bearish looking uh, sort of setup. It's sort of come here with a bit of a pivot swing sort of setup. Uh, if we see a break of these lows uh, tomorrow, I would expect a continuation maybe to the downside. How far? Well, um, there, there are sort of certain support uh, periods, what we saw before, at least the monthly S1, I would suggest if it starts breaking there, but it could be a more significant retracement, particularly when you see how far we've pushed up and how steep the, the run up had been. Um, it could be looking back towards the 
uh, weekly um, 20. Now this obviously not all in one week necessarily, but you never know sometimes when these bigger movements happen. Uh, you can see some quite substantial size uh, bars as you saw back here. So uh, news-wise this week, uh, in terms of Euro news, there's not a great deal of significant news now coming out uh, which uh, should affect the Euro too much uh, from uh, Euro, Euro data. Uh, there's some US data coming out this week which will uh, certainly uh, create some volatility, I'm sure, it's called durable goods on Wednesday. Uh, there are FOMC speakers on Tuesday. Um, we've got Yellen speaking on Tuesday as well. So there's there's certainly speakers that could could put either a fly in the ointment or become a little bit more hawkish over in the uh, US there. Um, but uh, the, the sort of the key factors this week really are the speakers, and we've got Draghi speaking again on Friday. So. Um, and not a lot of high level US data there, I'm just looking either. Um, so it's, it's quite a mixed old week. So um, that's where we are with news. Um, there's, no, there's not a lot that's going to affect the uh, the pound here really as well in terms of news, of course. We have seen a, a downgrade. Now I'm just looking at the weeklies here first. Moody's downgraded by one notch uh, on Friday. It did actually rally uh, following a, a sort of sell-off on that, but we're now I'm now looking at this and it's just down on the top part of the band there, which it could it could bounce from, but it's starting to, if, if this was to close anywhere like where it is, again, we'll have a, a, a pivot swing on here, which again could see uh, the euro selling off as well, coming back towards the daily 21 would be a logical place there, uh, and, and, and maybe more. So that there's, cer there's certainly some weakness potentially there. Now, there was a divergence last week, um, but it, it bounced straight afterwards, but it's just not managed to push back up. So uh, perhaps we're going to see a bit more weakness come through here. Of course, I, I say a massive caveat is that uh, North Korea could change all of this and uh, the situation there. But for now, um, it looks like a little bit of dollar strength may be coming through in the main. Now, uh, talking about uh, Korea and I'm looking at uh, Japanese yen, generally this is now becoming one of the safety currencies and perhaps we're seeing signs of that coming through here the pivot swing uh, run into the market on Friday we're seeing a, we've seen it uh, break through trigger that sort of area which could uh, bring it down some more just sitting on the daily eight at the moment so uh, just sitting on that daily eight if it breaks through that well maybe see a bigger correction back to the 21. Uh, but uh, certainly, certainly there's some weakness there of, of a pair that's up until now I would have only been looking to on the long side or prefer to be on the long side. Aussie dollar. Now, once again, last week we saw a sell off. It's sort of sitting pretty close to the lower bands there. Could roll through. Looking at um, quite a lot of fundamentals, it's, it's not great. There's a, certainly a bit of a slowdown in, in terms of and reduction in oil prices. So revenue into uh, Australia is, is reducing whilst that's occurring. And we could see a bit more correction. Uh, weekly wise, we could be back to 21 again. If we can keep on pushing down here, just looking at what's going on on the dailies. It did trigger a pivot swing on Friday, never really went too far with it. It's pushed back up today a little bit. And then well, I say today, this morning, it's pushing up through the Asian session, but sold off again, not managed to hold on to anything. To me, if this just continues to roll and break yesterday's lows, we, as I said, we could be on for a, a bit more of a creation. The one thing with the Aussie dollar is it does tend to be a bit more sticky at times. So it gets a few good days, but then it can be a bit sticky. And we've seen that a lot sort of last month and this month again at t different times. It got quite sticky with the movement slow. Canadian dollar. Looking from a weekly perspective, now this is we're seeing a bit of a bounce. We saw bullish Harami um, the week before last. Last week that seen, triggered that bullish Harami. It's pushing up towards the the upper bands here, the, towards the 200 uh, weekly 200 moving average. Looking at uh, it from a daily perspective, it's a bit of a mess in in a lot of senses, and it's. It's struggling on the upside. It's, it's, it's uh, at this stage, and lots of Doge's pushing up, 
uh, pushing through here. There's a sort of spinning top, doji, do, well, doji, spinning top, doji, doji. And we've got yet another little bar here at the moment. So it's it's not the clearest of uh, markets. There is a possible a bit more correction. Oil's been pushing up back above the $50 barrel, which you'd expect it to have a positive effect on the Canadian dollar, but not at the moment, as we've seen, as I said, broad strength coming through from the US dollar a little bit now. So uh, as I say, that may just follow through, and it's certainly uh, um, a, a, there's a certain uh, equilibrium uh, there with the Canadian dollar, it would suggest at least it's just not managing to push up strongly or, or sell off strongly. So that's pretty much the uh, the key currency pairs we're looking at. Um, one other thing I should look at is, um, well, a quick look of oil as I've discussed oil. Now this is pushed up pretty well. There's been talks and uh, comments coming out from Russian, new, new, Russian news agency today, suggesting that the continuation of the uh, cutbacks in output may be continued into next year and beyond next year, beyond the early part of next year when they were originally uh, coming up to review. So th those sort of comments have certainly helped oil pushing up at the moment, also with the hurricanes, etc., affecting different uh, systems and different areas. It's uh, prob probably helping a little bit. That said, there's plenty, of, there's plenty there if uh, the markets get a bit uh, short of oil. Um, and one other thing I, I looked at this morning uh, was gold, uh, gold. Now, actually, I was looking at it this morning and it was uh, lo looking significantly different there, but it's just come back to its uh, lower weekly uh, band here, just getting a decent bounce on that today. Now, it's uh, started moving up um, and pushing up at the moment back to its pushed up to its weekly pivot. Um, there are sort of mixed signals here. Now, if uh, North Korea situation continues and there's, there's comments coming through that, that, that suggesting the US have called it war, etc., this is when gold will, will continue pushing up. If things get settled over the next day or so, uh, any break of this uh, daily 50, and I'm, I'm a bit more bearish for a bit, probably a bit more of a correction, but uh, has corrected well. I mean, from, that, uh, from the low to the high, over 38%, as you can see here, a decent uh, move off that uh, daily 50 I was looking earlier on uh, like it i'm just going to bring down the chart a little bit here it was at one stage looking like it might have rolled over after hitting the weekly pivot but uh no strong strong old mover on those four hourly chart there um, and it with, with the concerns with north korea could just push up higher again so um watching for that that's it for me have a great day a uh, great day great week and um just as I say the, the reviews are out on a daily basis on youtube and our site bye for now mm -hmm.